Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to dynamically fill any object with spheres using Cinema 4D. So first of all you want to start off with any type of object that has some sort of volume inside that we can work with. You can even just use a sphere but I've modeled this little container that I'm going to be using for this tutorial. So first we want to grab three spheres like so and rename this first one to big, the next one to medium, and the next one to small. Scale the big one down to 0.75, medium to 0.5, and the small one to 0.25. Then let's grab a cloner, put the spheres inside the cloner, Select the cloner and change the mode to grid array. Change the count to 585 and the scale to 585. So let's just move that up so that it fits nicely inside of our container. Cool. So now we can add some more randomization into the scale. So with the cloner selected, let's go to the MoGraph menu. Go effectors and add a random effector. Go to the parameter tab, disable position and enable scale, enable uniform scale, and go 0.55. Cool, so now I'm gonna do some simulation. I'm gonna right click my glass, go simulation tags and go collider body, and do the same with my lid. Then on the cloner, I want to right click and go simulation tags again, but I want a rigid body. Cool. Um, now we want to make sure this tag is applied to all the children of this cloner. So under the inherit tag here, let's go apply tag to children. And let's go all for individual elements here. Awesome. Now if we press play, you're going to notice a problem. And that's because our collider bodies here if you go to the collision tab, we're using an automatic shape and I believe that that is by default a convex hull and basically it's not taking into account the uh, inside faces of our objects so we just want to change that to static mesh on both of these automatic to static mesh. Cool, now if you press play it should work a little bit better but still not quite what we're after so the reason why we have all the space between the glass and our spheres is because if we go to our collider body there is this margin applied and if we um, enable this and go zero for both of these you'll notice that it works a bit better but it's still not perfect it's very glitchy fortunately i have a nice way of working around this problem so let's go back to our tags here and disable the margins. And then let's grab a null and put all of our objects inside the null. Select the null and scale it up by 100. And then if we go back to the first frame and press play, you'll notice the collisions work so much better. So instead of Cinema 4D working with millimeters here for the thickness of this glass, now it's working with meters. And basically it just makes it a lot easier for Cinema 4D to calculate the collisions. And once you're happy with a nice resting state for the spheres, say I'm happy with that, what we can do is select our simulation tag here and under the dynamics tab, we can set initial state. So if we go back to the first frame, that is now the initial state of our spheres. And now if we select our null and scale back down to one, zoom in, we have a little container filled with spheres at its correct scale and that's done. Awesome, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and that you've learned something new. If you'd like to know how I rendered this scene, feel free to download my project file in the link down below. Please remember to like and subscribe, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!